Hey guys, my name is Kristen. I'm a rural squirrel. I'm a full-time traveler and a full-time reseller, but technically I live in a tiny house. Well, it's a carriage house, but it's less than 900 square feet. So how do I store all my stuff? Where do I keep my inventory? What's my shipping station look like? I'm gonna show you. Come on, I'm gonna give you a tour of everything that I have and where I put it. Okay, let's go inside. Hey, Code. All of the magic happens from right here. I work out of the garage. Yep, I work out of the garage. You guys, it's so hot. I already had to put my hair in a ponytail. So because I work in the garage, I try to get my work done first thing in the morning so that it's not too hot. So, <laughs> so now you understand why I do all my shipping in the morning. But what do I have in my space? How do I try to maximize the space that I have in order to um, have room for everything and to get my job done. I'll show you. So there's my desk and it also transforms into my photography station. So that backdrop right there, I have another piece of paper that I put over that table so that I can take photos right there of any items that I need. Most of my videos are done right there. You can see my tripod right there. That's where, that's where my camera goes while I'm doing my shipping videos. And on this rolly cart, I have all the things that I need to help me with my job while I'm taking photos. Of course, I've got leather cleaners so that I can wipe off shoes and boots while I'm taking photos, dealing with all the shoe trees. Gotta make sure that I have those. Um, I have a duster cloth. I have a, um, what is this? A lint roller. Um, I have a loop so that I can see tiny little things on jewelry. I have a shoe eraser. I'd love to get these at the dollar store. Of course, you gotta have a tape measure. And um, this is for putting earrings and jewelry out um, so that it looks nice and looks professional and pretty. Found this at the dollar store. Everything else in here on my rolly cart is things like um, trash bags in case I have to bag up big things. So on my desk, this is where I do my shipping from and also where I do my, uh, my photos from. I have my thank you cards up here in this basket. I have miscellaneous like personal things in there, you know, like dental floss, <laughs> whatever. Stuff that I wanna have that's right here. Of course, I gotta have my Enamin to make sure my sales keep moving. And then the cutest ever little squirrel that I got from Joe and Nicole whenever I visited them up in Minnesota. Of course, I wanna make sure that you know that you can follow me in all of these locations. This is where I keep my receipts, everything that I've bought throughout the year, including like, my gas, of course, whenever I go to the thrift store or if I buy like poly mailers or things like that. So all of my receipts go in here. I always have a notebook right here so that I can make notes. I'm constantly making notes and making lists. I've almost always got candy sitting over here in the corner. If you know me, you know that I love a good chewy treat. Okay, so this is a banner that I have from whenever I worked in the corporate world and I had a cubicle. I wanna make sure that I remember that I don't ever wanna go back to the cubicle world, but that I do have good customer service and that you know I wanna strive for excellence. This is my chart. I just did get this thing put up because this is keeping me on track to make sure that I'm doing eBay listings every day so that I can keep track of how many I get done. Of course, I've got my pens and my pencils, lots of markers. These, this is a trick I learned from Thrifter Sifter. He takes knitting needles and uses them as pointers on tags and things. What a good idea, right? So we have those, um, gotta stay hydrated. This is from when I won the bingo challenge in Minnesota. Always gotta make sure that I keep my hardware right close by. <laughs> this is a cute little nut. Um, this is one of the first things that somebody that a viewer sent to me and I keep my stickers and washi tape in there. I love this dual tape dispenser. This thing is great. I can put my regular shipping tape here and I keep washi tape here so that I can tape on my thank you cards. And then um, of course I have a ruler and my scissors. Okay, so in my cabinets, these cabinets were here when I got here. So we just of course utilized the space. In here, we have a sweater shaver. I have um, letters to change my, my letter board. <laughs> and then I have extra shoestrings for shoes if I find a pair of shoes that just needs a new pair of shoestrings to make it better. Um, I also have like extra foot pads in case I need them for um, a pair of shoes that doesn't have any too. 
I've got my tape. I have forms that I put inside of boots um, for whenever they are a little bit floppy. So that makes them uh, stand out and really pretty. In this cabinet, I have my tripod and um, this is a label printer. This is a pair of spy glasses. These are all smaller bubble mailers. I got these at Target on clearance. I got a lot of these for like super duper cheap. Um, if I have extra tissue paper, I put it up here. There's some regular um, flat manila envelopes here. Also some smaller, smaller poly mailers. And then these are my, my original stickers. So that's in these cabinets. Up on top of those cabinets, that's where I'm keeping all my boxes, my priority boxes, general mail boxes. And that's always changing. So sometimes um, whatever, I, whatever I buy on Amazon <laughs> or whatever I can find at the Dollar Tree, they save boxes for me and I put them up there. I've also got my bubble mailers. These are brand new bubble mailers I just got from Yarrow Pack. I have a link to them down in the description below so that you can get 10% off bubble mailers. These are a great size and I love the fun colors. So we've got bubble mailers from them. I also have poly mailers from Yarrow Pack and I keep them in here. So these are just standard poly mailers. You can get them in different colors. And again, I got them from Yarrow Pack. I will put a link down below so that you can get 10% off. I keep my um, some priority, priority mail. I had leftover more tape. These are like duster bags for purses that I might find the bins if I can keep duster bags available so that whenever I find the purse, find the shoes, find the, the blouse or whatever that this can go in and it just sort of makes the, the listing look a little bit more professional and classier. So, and then I have copy paper. Um, I don't even know what that is. Oh, I know what that is. Those are tatchet barbs so that whenever I go to junk stock, I can put my price tags on there. And then more priority mail up there at the top. So over here, this is where I'm gonna, say, oh, what's under my desk? Let me show you. It is a mess down there. Okay, so these boxes over here in the corner, that's where I keep my, my tax information. So that's everything for the last two years. I have bags under there that I get from a local boutique. I put my packages in them and they're recycled. Then I also make sure that I recycle those shipping pillows in case I, uh, you know, have anything breakable that I need to, to put away. This rolly cart there has tape, uh, cute little ribbons. I like to put those on my Poshmark packages. There's my stamps for my thank you cards and then another tape gun. And then this is where I charge my phone that I do all my photos in. Of course, my chair is a mid-century modern sewing chair that was actually my grandma's. It has a hidden compartment in it so that I can keep things in there if I need to. So let's talk about inventory storage. So this is where I keep my boots. It's also where I have <laughs> my printer, my thermal printer. I love my thermal printer. This is from Jaden's. I like the pink one, they have them in black too, but with the link that I have in the description below, you can get 20% off of your Jaden's label printer. You can also get it off of your labels or the little trays that hold the labels too. So anything that you buy, you can get 20% off with that link that's in the, the video description below. I also keep my extra labels back there. There's my form for doing my hats. So my uh, styrofoam head, <laughs> there's the piece of paper that I put on my, uh, on my table over here for whenever I'm doing my photos. So then the rest of this is boots and shoes. Boots and shoes are some of my favorite things to sell. And I have quite a few of them there. So then I have a box down here. This is where I'm putting my the little strips that come off the backside of the, of the poly mailers. I put those in there and sometimes I use those as free shipping materials. Then I keep a basket right there. That's my death pile. That's my money pile. That's my unlisted inventory. So right now I've only got two things left. Then I've got a cute little rug that's right there. I guess it's not that cute, it's just a regular rug, but it's a rug that I keep there so that whenever Cody is out here helping me and getting my work done, he's got somewhere to stay. So then, what's in my storage? What's in my totes? All of my totes I've gotten at the thrift store. I get them at the bins, and if they have a lid on them, that's just a bonus. So all of my totes um, are secondhand or I bought at the bins. So they don't match. They're not like the perfect <laughs> banker boxes like Ginger Marvin has, but they're very functional and I get them on the cheap because I'm a very frugal person. <laughs> I also got all of my shelving either secondhand at the thrift store or, or at a yard sale. So like my blue shelves, that was only five bucks. I got them at a yard sale. I like to um, repurpose things that I find. So up at the top, those are linens. Those are like blankets and towels and uh, mostly blankets, quilts, things like that. That's up on the top, those two um, totes right there. 
Then I have bigger things um, that don't necessarily have another space. So I'm going all the way to the ceiling to maximize my space. This is some artwork. This is for an RV, like a, a canopy for an RV. And then this is one of those big vintage lounge chairs that's already boxed and ready to go. Then also at the top, oh, I also have like a, a hiking backpack and um, a big Christmas globe up here on the top. <laughs> and then this is a bin full of plush that I've got listed on eBay. Then I have women's tops. I don't have mine labeled as A1 or B1. It is literally what is in it <laughs> because I've been doing this for 26 years. That's just how my system started. So that's how I've stuck with it. <laughs> so this is women's tops right here. Um, women's jeans, women's bottoms that could be like pants or shorts. Overflow of shoes right there. And then some men's pants, bras and swimwear. And kids and cycling. I know they don't go together, but <laughs> they go together. <laughs> And then down there on the bottom, I have a few wares, like glassware items and things that I don't want to fall too far so that they won't break. Then this is purses and bags, one of my favorite things as well. There's more boots in here. <laughs> and then this is women's skirts. And then over there in the corner, I have a few old vintage books that I wanted to lay flat so that they stored better and um, protected them a little bit more back there in that corner. Okay, so these are my next two whatnot shows. So I have a vintage whatnot show scheduled and a plush whatnot ske show scheduled. And I just have them say whatnot so that whatever is in that tote, I can just take with me and take over to my, my shipping station. And I do my whatnots from right there. That way when I'm finished, all I have to do is bundle them up and ship it out. So these are my whatnot totes right here. Those are women's sweaters. It says women's tops. And then down there on the bottom is coats. But I'm not done. This isn't just all of my storage. I have it lined up and then I have one that sticks out just enough for me to be able to get my car in here. <laughs> then around the corner, we've got a little bit more. So like I said, I work out of my garage. My bikes are right here. This is where I store my lighting. And then those are also listed. Aren't they gorgeous? I think they're amazing but I wanna put them in the window so that I can enjoy them for a little bit until they sell. So let's come around this corner. So I've created like this little wall that's right here with this stack of totes and that one shelf that's right there so that you can get to the storage that's under the stairs um, that has like our air conditioner and our air conditioner unit and our water heater and stuff like that for our tiny home. So on the door, obviously I've got some more shoes that are, that are stored right there. Um, I have another shelf that's up here in this corner. Up there I've got some wares. Um, both of those totes are wares. This is men's shirts right here. More wares. So that means things that are like um, my knee braces that are stored. Um, rubber stamps that are stored. A few books and DVDs. Um, more housewares. This is like sunglasses and things like that. Um, more miscellaneous. There's some more uh, glassware that's down there, again, on the lower shelves that doesn't fall very far and break. Um, and then some more housewares down there. Um, and then, uh, again, some more glassware. I, these shelves aren't wide enough for me to get two totes um, when the totes are this size, but that's what I found at the bin, so that's what I have. <laughs> and then back here in this corner, come here, I'll show you. More totes. That one down there is actually empty. Um, it's waiting for more inventory. Those are hats, scarves, ties, belts. Um, I might even have a pair of socks in there. <laughs> Those are actually dresses. And then there's where I keep my bubble wrap. Plus, I've got that little guy hanging on the wall and he's available for sale in my store too. So this is what my space looks like. I try to do as much as I can with as little as I've got. So I think I'm about 12 feet by six feet. So it's skinny but it's nice and long for me to be able to move things around. I don't have a huge warehouse, but it make, I make it work for me. Some things I have to make sure that I have a multi-use situation. So shipping station, work station, uh, photography station, all happening in one spot. That really does make a difference whenever you're trying to do something with a small space. But So what kind of small space do I live in? Do you wanna see what my house looks like? Let's go see. Stairs. Make sure that we put our keys and stuff away and cookies for code. There's our code. <laughs> so this is my living room. That's our couch. Mr. Squirrel sits there. There's my artwork that Dad and I made. If you saw, if you saw that video, 
this is my spot. I sit right there and I work on my listing and there's my bag of stuff that I gotta get listing right now. And then this is the rest of the living room. So all one big room, my living room, my dining room, <laughs> and here's my kitchen. It's all pretty much all here right in one spot. So there's my laundry room. There's my room. Sometimes I come in here and do my pictures that require a mannequin. So that's my room and then the bathroom. That's it guys. I live in a tiny space. So I have to maximize my space and try to do the best I can with what I've got. So I hope this helps you. I hope that it makes more sense to you. <laughs> now you understand how I do everything in such a small space. So I hope that helps you and I hope that you are also trying to figure out a way to maximize that small space. So you ought to be able to be reseller with a small space also. And I'm glad that you came and hung out with me. I hope you guys are out there finding amazing things. I hope you're shipping amazing things. I hope you're doing amazing things. And I will see you guys next time. I'll see you in the bins.